Ivy Branch, Julian, West Virginia, Hatfield McCoy System, September 24th, 2024. Starting out in the trailhead, it's a gray day with forecast calling for scattered showers and rain. So we're going up trail 10, which is the traditional start. It's the only way to get from the trailhead. And we're climbing up the usual uh, switchback. I guess that one's just a corner. This one counts as a switchback. It rained last night a lot when we were down in the lodge, so a big thunderstorm line came through. So I expect the trails uh, will have at least some tackiness and, and a lot less dust and probably more puddles than usual. Ah, there's a puddle. And some more puddles. Yes, we definitely have puddles. The last couple days on the other systems, Cowboy Lingo and Bear Wallow, there were very few puddles and lots of dust. So this should be a lot more pleasant for the guys um, riding behind me. And there's some fresh blue straw in there they put down trying to, I guess, absorb some of the mud. Good traction, um, pleasant temperatures, it's probably low 70s, but it's very humid. Um, the, the clouds are not very far off the uh, trail. Wouldn't be surprised if we run into some fog. Now while 10 and 12 meet, we always take 12. And I don't enjoy this uh, gravel parking lot and Heights muttering about it later on. It's just real deep um, bluestone. Yes. Skip, Q. Wheels and Eric. Uh, let's go on Thars. Anybody need a break? So we've been on 12 since that gravel parking lot area. I'm not super comfortable on these downhills. Um, while the traction seems pretty reasonable, it is wet clay. If, it, uh, if we get a rain and shower, it's going to be slick. Yep. Yeah. A little bit more rain. And we're probably going to get a rain and showers. So this is 20.
pretty mellow. Um, got some gentle switchbacks. Um, we drop and, and climb a little bit, but uh, pretty nice trail. I've got a setting on the uh, overlay program to make the gauges not bounce around quite so much, but I must have not set it properly for this one. It's kind of distracting to see the spe speed bouncing up and down by three or four miles an hour when you know it's not really doing that. This is the end of 20, and we'll pick up 18, which goes around the top half of the uh, property. You can see a lot of water in that uh, big corner. You would think up here on the top of a mountain that drain pretty well. This is 95. So, yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, you can't even see the creek from here. This is the top of 95. I wanted to show it to you, but you can't even see it. So let's go a little farther. Yeah. We'll see it again. The 95 runs down the creek, which is on the left side of this road down in the valley. And here's the bottom of the creek. Yeah, Simon and, and Tom climbed these two. For as wet as it is, the creek looks pretty dry. There's a lot of rock showing and not much water in it almost as much water up here on the trail. <laughs> Thank you.
if he's really keeping the sun off. Yeah. The occasional shake from the wind with that little drop of water now and again. Yeah. Not a crime. Yeah, man. Now we're on 15. Which I think is dead flat. Up under the railroad bridge. And there's a nice little river beach. Let me turn on to 39. Coming up to 39. Long, long, long hill. So when we reach the top, we all get out some hydration and power bars, take a break. Well, viewers, you can see that it is raining. We got thunder and lightning and rain. And whoa boy. This clay is. So I split. was busy riding the bike and didn't think to. Uh, wipe the lens off on the camera but it's okay it's going to keep raining harder and there's going to be more raindrops on the uh, on the lens a bigger problem was that my goggles were fogging up on the inside with a lot of raindrops on the outside 
so visibility is not very good. So we just finished up 40. One, two, three, four. Where's Eric? Uh, he, he said he was just... Oh, he's going ahead. Yeah. He's just taking off. Okay, now we're going. Okay, we're just going to take 13 and we'll see 10 eventually. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Uh, marker here. Yeah, well, yeah, we need Marco. This black trail surface must have some coal gravel you know, low grade coal stuff. Uh, it's got reasonable traction. When the trail turns brown, then it's just uh, all clay, um, maybe with a few rocks, but the, the clay, the dark brown clay, um, well, it's slippery when wet, man. The grass is nice and green. Does it say 16 or is it 10? You saw that I had wiped off the lens, but it's raining hard enough that that doesn't last very long. The good news is that 10 is the trail that goes down to the trailhead, so all we have to do is follow this down off the mountain and we'll be at the trucks. By now, of course, everyone is totally soaked through all layers of clothing all the way down to the skin. There goes PJ, followed by the Hoff. You can see the Hoff sliding his rear end around a little bit. My focus here is just keeping the bike upright. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Yeah. 